the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, where we present tonight a historic night of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, over 130,000 fans in attendance, breaking the old record and making this tonight the Grand Slam of boxing, the largest crowd ever to attend a boxing match. Chavez says I'm going to give Hogan the worst beating of his life. He even went so far as to say when Hogan returns to his hometown, no one will recognize him. He just got, he just got hit. Hogan did by a good straight right hand. There's another one, and it set him back. Down goes Hogan, second zone. Chavez pouring it out right above us. Oh, brother, a combination. And down goes Hogan. says yes, I'll continue with a minute eight remaining in the fifth. And the problem is there's a minute and ten seconds and Chavez wants to go home. Hogan has never lost by knockout. This could be the first. Chavez unloading. And it's being stopped by Joe Cortez. It's all over. Well done. Well done, Cortez. Well done. Well, if he wanted to give him a beating, he did. Hogan wants to reconsider the remarks about the Tijuana taxes, he should. But all credit, all credit to Hogan. Let us know. continues now as you watch Chavez if you haven't seen him before note his remarkable ability for ducking and slipping punches inside and then countering to the body and sometimes to the head there's a left that, that left landed and this is what Chavez did to Mayweather in their first fight he stood him up and he's got him standing still on the rope or slightly now Chavez lands a left and a right the sheer aggression of Julio Cesar Chavez begins to take its toll. Now that suddenly is not fighting back anymore. Chavez stepping in now and landing with much more consistency than was the case in the earlier round. They have they stopped, stopped the fight. fight. Crowd response came earlier than ours because we were looking at Chavez. Referee Hank Ellisburo talks to Mayweather's corner, and it's over. And Jim obviously has a cut, but the cut wasn't giving him a problem. I hate to say it, but I just think he didn't want any more of Chavez. I think you're absolutely right. The position that Mayweather has assumed on his bench. Ha estado haciendo una pelea desesperante para Julio César que con toda su grandeza no ha podido descifrar el estilo tremendamente problemático de Pelayito Hernández que cambia de guardia, de pronto está en el perfil zurdo. Cuarto round. Pelayito hacia atrás, lo alcanza con jab de izquierda Julio César, la martilla bien su derecha, el campeón del mundo falla la mandíbula de Julio César. Y sin embargo es admirable la determinación del campeón que insiste a pesar de todos los pesares que sin embargo entra para abrazar saliendo del embroque en la guardia sur. Insiste Julio con la derecha castiga fuerte, empieza a inflamarse la boca del Pelayito Hernández y tiene un raspón abajo del ojo izquierdo, lo alcanza con la derecha Julio, ahí está la oportunidad, vuelve a castigar con la derecha, clava con la izquierda abajo, vuelve con el castigo al hígado, queda paralizado el pelayito, ya la oportunidad para Julio César que castiga con un tremendo cañonazo derecho a la zona media ya. hay que recordar aquella primera gran pelea en la historia de los peleadores boricuas y los contendientes mexicanos cuando Rodolfo El Chango Casanova perdió frente a Sixto Escobar, mientras tanto esta es una pelea donde el campeón liguero de Puerto Rico le han dado absolutamente todo esta es la primera defensa vean la manera como ha quedado ahí Sammy Fuentes, un hombre que está confundido, un hombre que...
que ha sido castigado de una manera severa y aquí lo están informando Carlos Padilla que no más, que no puede continuar y aquí señoras y señores en el pabellón deportivo del Palacio de los Césares Julio César Chávez está reteniendo And Taylor finishing exchanges inside using his hand speed Watch the poised and confident Meldrick Taylor controlling the bout with his feet. Right now, the 66-0 record, which was such a landmark in the history of the sport, the best in the last 78 years, is in serious jeopardy. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's flurry. Reminiscent of a young Ray Leonard. I love those combinations, Jimmy. Gets him in. Julio, está usted muy parado. Echele corazón. Pelee por su familia. Vamos, estamos listos para empezar. Vamos, vamos. Esta se nos ha puesto fea, pero vamos a poner los cojones ahí. Tire lo que tenga. Tire con qué, Julio. Tire lo que tenga, por el amor de Dios, Julio. Tire lo que tenga, coño. If you're a fight fan, get ready for three minutes of high drama now. As a desperate and determined Julio Cesar Chavez tries to take out a fading and battered Meldrick Taylor who has completely dominated him through most of the fight. But if he stands up, he wins. And here's, he's a warrior. Look at him. He's trying to stay there and trying to apparently push Chavez out. Play it safe and box. Meldrick Taylor said before the fight, he'll take me to a higher place. He's and there he right has. now. He's there right now, Larry. No question about it. Well said. Two minutes left, and Julio Cesar Chavez's historic unbeaten streak. You would expect the aggression to be with Chavez, but it's more so with Taylor. the fight. I can't Unbelievable. believe it. Unbelievable. Richard Un Steele stopped the fight with fewer than five seconds to go. You're going to watch Lou Duba go crazy now. From the point of view of Chavez, it is one of the most dramatic comebacks in the history of the sport. Larry, the official time will be 2.58 of the 12th round. He knocked him out with two seconds left. Nice shots landed again by Chavez. Nice body shot landed that time by Chavez. Profusio knows how to tie him up. Tony Perez right on the button to separate the two. A nice uppercut. Almost drops Rojas. It was a delayed knockdown. The uppercut caught him. And then all of a sudden, it caught up with him. And down he went. You can see him. You're taking too much punishment, and will be scored in the seventh round. TKO win for Julio Cesar Chavez, who retains the WBC. Anda a Tomás da Cruz, el brasileiro, y cae en manos de la tremenda izquierda de Julio Cesar Chavez, que le penetra el hígado y remata con derechas arriba, haciendo milagros de equilibrio. Tomás da Cruz todavía responde. Lo acomoda bien Julio César Chávez y le conecta Percot con la mano izquierda. Vaya con el gancho, pero remata con la derecha. A punto de irse a la lona Tomás da Cruz, pero en un milagro de equilibrio sigue aguantando ese terrible castigo de dobles ganchos a la manera de Julio César Chávez que cruza con la derecha. Se doblan las piernas de Tomás da Cruz. Está recibiendo una verdadera paliza el amazónico ante uno de los mejores campeones del mundo en el momento. Julio César Chávez, que izquierda abajo, el remate con la derecha arriba. Se va descoyuntando completamente Tomás da Cruz está en manos de un hombre que es letal con sus puños interviene el referee y mientras Tomás da Cruz sale diciendo pues qué onda cuántos fueron los que me cayeron encima aquí celebran la victoria y la retención del cetro de Julio César Chávez el ídolo de México pero Julio es un hombre que va al frente 
Julio es un hombre que desde su guardia derecha ha impuesto la ley. Pero no se crea usted. Estos argentinos son tosudos. Estos argentinos son fuertes. Y ahí le metió la mano izquierda en forma de gancho a Julio César Chávez. Maneja la mano izquierda en forma de gancho a la zona hepática. Lo mismo responde Julio. Cuando ahí está fallando este argentino. Y va izquierdazo a la punta de la barba. Vuelve a meter la mano derecha y está liquidado. ¡Qué manera de ir al frente de Julio César Chávez! Primero izquierda y luego larga derecha. Aquí aparece el estupendo e internacional Arthur Mercante que dice que no más. Segunda defensa de Julio César Chávez en el Palacio de los Deportes de México. Y aquí aparece... Going on the 10 point my system, we've got my three judges, two from Great Britain, Mike Jacobs, and Sid Nathan, on the team of Fernandez Sanchez and Caracas Venezuela. Now we'll see some counter punches by Chavez. He's coming over here with a jab with the right hand. Oh, great. When he does that, Ray, leaves himself wide open. I don't think he should be reaching with that right hand. He's putting too much behind the kill. Another big right hand by the challenger Mayweather. And what set that up, Mayweather slid to his right view, but he just was hurt. At the end, Mayweather took two consecutive right hands on the champion Chavez just after he landed a big one of his own. Mayweather has to move now, he's still on the street. They rule that a slip, evidently there was no, no count. count. He's in difficulty. That's his point. Down he goes again. Fight. A short right hand from the champion Chavez. Oh. Still in difficulty. Okay. Well, Tim, if they didn't count the first one a knockdown, get back, get back. But it's only the first knockdown of the round. That could be significant. Chavez comes in with a right hand lead. Mayweather still in difficulty trying to tie him up. No knockdown. No, that no was knockdown. not a knockdown. Oh, Richard yeah. Steele directly rolled. Okay. No Mayweather, knockdown. He needs to tie his man up, Tim. He's still walking there. Under a minute to go on round number two. Oh, Mayweather's only been stopped once by Rocky Lockridge. Al Chapo Rosario, buen cabeceo de Rosario, sin embargo lo alcanza un lancetazo de mano izquierda y cambian golpes cuerpo a cuerpo al hilo de los cables de donde no puede salir Rosario por más que empuja a Julio César Chávez. Es implacable, Julio César Chávez se lanza la carga como una fiera, la acecho, está lacerando el rostro y la zona blanda del Chapo Rosario que trata de repuntar conectando golpes y empujando pero los certeros de los puños de Julio César Chávez. Aquí tenemos la acción de este episodio número 11. Ya el Chapo Rosario no encuentra la puerta por donde escapar. La izquierda abajo, el hecho verdaderos estragos. La derecha arriba. Ah, el Chapo Rosario que se va hacia atrás con pasos tambaleantes y con un corazón enorme que no le cabe en el cuerpo. Trata de poner resistencia, pero es verdaderamente arrolladora la ofensiva. Ya encima del encelado materialmente, Julio César Chávez. Golpes a dos manos a la cabeza, desesperada por el campeonato ligero del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo. El pómulo izquierdo inflamado, los ojos casi cerrados, sintiendo punzadas en la zona hepática y en toda la región blanda. Va hacia atrás Rosario, impelido por la tremenda descarga, dos manos y tremendo espíritu combativo de Julio César Chávez. Es el penúltimo round. Julio también tiene lo suyo, ahí en el rostro. Y sin embargo, ya ven, imposible que pueda salir y sin embargo lo dejan ir todavía y casi más allá de la mitad del cuadrilátero de nada de Julio César Chávez, pero imposible, tuvo que intervenir el referee para llamarle la para Julio César, ha tenido que sacar de su escarcela todo lo grande que tiene como peleador, como boxeador, como extremista, como de... Allá viene Julio César a conectar con la mano derecha arriba, la izquierda abajo en doble gancho, otra vez la derecha arriba y la izquierda abajo en una combinación, una buena derecha del Chapo Rosario, pero ni se entera Julio César. Un dolor profesional enorme, Rosario tratando de contrarrestar la superioridad boxística de Julio César Chávez, el increíble Julio César Chávez. Vean cómo tiene ya el ojo izquierdo, el Chapo Rosario cada vez más su castigo. Empuja a veces hasta con el antebrazo para tomar ubicación 
de disparo, Edwin Rosario que está, quién sabe por qué, todavía de pie en una empecinada lucha por aguantar los embates de este Julio César Chávez, el mejor peleador kilo por kilo, hasta que Richard Steele dice, ya estuvo bien y con una actitud paternal está consolando al Chapo Rosario mientras entroniza en el trono de los ligeros del Consejo Mundial Julio César Chávez a la izquierda de Julio César Chávez manejado en forma magistral, está taladrando la zona hepática con las combinaciones arriba, que tiene materialmente destroncado a Rubén Castillo Está viendo poco a poco cómo se desvanece su ilusión de destronar a Julio César Chávez. Una pelea ahí, cabeza con cabeza, los puños de Julio César Chávez hacen verdadero daño. No perdó, corte, campo, campo, izquierda, abajo, arriba, la doble combinación. Y la combinación de manos arriba tiene zarandeado a Rubén Castillo que poco a poco va sintiendo que se rompe la bola del cuadrilátero que lo tiene aliento. Está todavía para responder con andanadas a dos manos arriba, pero al hacerlo se descubre para los mejores puños del campeón. Entonces, sin impactar los ataques, se está cerrando con la cintura. Rubén Castillo a la derecha, arriba, la picada, la deja sobre piernas falsas. Rubén Castillo todavía un gancho de izquierda, Rubén Castillo que la responde. se declara vencido ya totalmente y se derrumba en forma dramática y un bombardeo de un tirador certero que sabe medir perfectamente la distancia que con pasos adentro y afuera a los lados, a la izquierda y a la derecha ha sabido desubicar el ángulo de disparo de Azarache Martínez que se lanza la carga lleva contra las cuerdas a Julio César Chávez todavía mete el gancho de izquierda arriba martilla a la derecha está cañoneando contra la maltrecha cabeza de la Zabacha Martínez que se va desfallecido ya contra las hojas levanta la guardia tratando de tapar el temporal el bombardeo terrible de Julio César este mide con la izquierda castiga dos manos la cabeza de la Zabacha Martínez destrozado el rostro de la Zabacha Martínez pero todavía con el corazón por delante tratando de oponer resistencia de la Zabacha Martínez y está terminando y esto está borrón de verdadero drama pero la Zabacha en plena desgracia y Julio César hecho una máquina de pelear tremenda coordinación de gancho de izquierda cuando interviene el referee y levanta los brazos Julio César Chávez mientras dramáticamente el Azabache Martínez es conducido a su rincón deshecho totalmente y en tanto que el contraste eterno el vencedor en hombros de la multitud y aquí el anuncio oficial Julio César Chávez campeón mundial de los superplumas una verdadera euforia, don José Sulaimán, presidente. The pupil enters the ring as a heavy favorite against his old stablemate. And remember that this fight is as much about neighborhood honor as it is about world championships. That's right. That's between two men who know each other as well as any two boxers in the ring today. And I think somewhere along the line that's going to happen. There you go. Oh, right hand. Oh, he hurt him. Ramirez. Ramirez is staggered but doesn't go down. Chavez steps in. Chavez is known for his patience in this situation. Ramirez unable to fire back for the moment. Deliberately. I think he did, the way I looked at it. We hurt him there. The right right hand, hand lead continues to hurt, hurt Ramirez. Again, Ramirez staggering. Ooh, this guy is hurt, but he's not opening up enough. I'm hurt again. Round is going to come to an end before Chavez can do anything oh. with it. Got to do more of that. Got to work the body more. I think if you work the body more, you bring him down. He'll be good right into the body. He's opening up. And now Ramirez is in trouble again. The right hook ball by Ramirez. The answer. Chavez looks resolute. This is brutal punishment. Ramirez can't stop the right hand. Championship action in the ring. Right hand, there's a cut. And they should not stop the fight over that. No way, no how. Now we know that Ramirez is cut. Chavez is not. No blood coming from Chavez. They should not right. stop this fight. No, and Chavez is shaking his head because he's disappointed. I've been, you know, I've been curious all along. Two fighters who are noted for going forward when and 
if that might happen. It was a distinct possibility. Uh, I'm certainly glad it didn't happen early in the fight. Accidental butt. That was an accidental butt. Let's clarify that right now. And particularly with the southpaw against the conventional right. fighter. There it is. There you saw both fighters coming straight ahead, and they ah. stopped the fight. Ah. Ah. And Judge Art Lurie scores about 98-91. The winner on a technical decision, and now the possessor of two lightweight championship belts, Julio Cesar Chavez. An even stronger sense of nationalism and pride from Chavez loyal followers. Thousands of folks from Mexico coming up for the big fight here in Las Vegas. And this huge gathering here at the Thomas and Max Center, anxiously awaiting the start of the fight, Julio Cesar Chavez versus Hector Macho Camacho. Camacho looks like a guy that's standing under a cliff waiting for it to fall. What a workman is Chavez. Oh, he landed with the right then, Chavez. Two words, all Chavez. Camacho is just taking a beating. Well, Chavez said he wanted to give him a beating. He didn't just want to knock him out. And that's what he's getting now, a beating. Turn to the funky man. I'm hip to the game. Always be the same. Cause when I'm broke, we got things I shut the rain. Ain't a damn thing changed. Breaking the old record and making this tonight the grand slam of boxing, the largest crowd ever to attend a boxing match. Chavez says I'm gonna give Hogan the worst beating of his life. He even went so far as to say when Haugen returns to his hometown, no one will recognize him. He just got, he just got hit. Haugen did by a good straight right hand. There's another one, and it set him back. Down goes Haugen, second zone. Chavez pouring it out right above us. Oh, brother, a combination. And down goes Haugen. The Tijuana Dex is for sure. But all credit. All credit to Haugen, let us know. continues now as you watch Chavez if you haven't seen him before note his remarkable ability for ducking and slipping punches inside and then countering to the body and sometimes to the head there's a left that left landed and this is what Chavez did to Mayweather in their first fight he stood him up and he's got him standing still on the rope or sprightly now Chavez lands a left and a right the sheer aggression of Julio Cesar Chavez begins to take a toll. Mayweather suddenly is not fighting back anymore. Chavez stepping in now and landing with much more consistency than was the case in the earlier round. Says yes, I'll continue with a minute eight remaining in the fifth. And the problem is there's a minute and ten seconds, and Chavez wants to go home. Hogan has never lost by knockout. This could be the first. Chavez unloading. And it's being stopped by Joe Cortez. It's all over. Well done. Well done, Cortez. Well done. Well, if he wanted to give him a beating, he did. Haugen wants to reconsider the remarks about
the main event, the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, where we present tonight a historic night of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, over 130,000 fans in attendance.